Severe Acute Respiratory Infection, sorry. What is Severe Acute Respiratory Infection? Acute respiratory infection is an infection that may interfere with normal breathing. It can affect just your upper respiratory system, which starts at your sinuses and ends at your vocal cords, or just your lower respiratory system, which starts at your vocal cords and ends at your lungs. What are the causative agents? Causative organism for sorry could be bacteria to viruses. It is not new disease for us, however a sudden rise in cases of the disease is usually indicates, an emerging infectious disease outbreak from influenza viruses, human infection from bird influenza virus like H5N1 and H7N9, coronaviruses, or other emerging respiratory viral outbreaks. How it is spread? Acute respiratory infections are infectious, which means they can spread from one person to another. The disease is quite widespread. It is particularly dangerous for children, older adults, and people with immune system disorders. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, acute respiratory infections kill an estimated 2.6 million children annually every year worldwide. What are the symptoms of SARI? Major symptoms of the disease involve the history of a fever higher than 38 degrees and cough for over 10 days. It necessitates hospitalization. Most SARI cases need intensive care unit, ICU, admissions with ventilator support. Symptoms can include Congestion, either in the nasal sinuses or lungs. Runny nose. Cough. Sore throat. Body aches. Fatigue. A fever over 103 Fahrenheit, 39 degrees, and chills. Difficulty breathing. Dizziness. Loss of consciousness. How it is clinically diagnosed. In a respiratory exam, the doctor focuses on your breathing. They will check for fluid and inflammation in the lungs by listening for abnormal sounds in your lungs when you breathe. The doctor may peer into your nose and ears, and check your throat. If the doctor believes the infection is in the lower respiratory tract, an X-ray or CT scan may be necessary to check the condition of the lungs. Lung function tests have been useful as diagnostic tools. Pulse oximetry, also known as pulse ox, can check how much oxygen gets into the lungs. A doctor may also take a swab from your nose or mouth, or ask you to cough up a sample of sputum to check for the type of virus or bacteria causing the disease. How is sorry treated? With many viruses, there are no known treatments. Doctors may prescribe medications to manage your symptoms while monitoring your condition. If the doctor suspects a bacterial infection, they may prescribe antibiotics. Most causes of an acute respiratory infection aren't treatable. Therefore, prevention is the best method to ward off harmful respiratory infections. Getting the MMR, measles, mumps, and rubella, and pertussis vaccine will substantially lower your risk of getting a respiratory infection. You may also benefit from influenza vaccination and pneumovax. Avoid smoking and make sure you include plenty of vitamins in your diet, such as vitamin C, which helps boost your immune system. Vitamin C is maintained in immune cells, and a deficiency has been linked to higher susceptibility to infection. While research is unclear if vitamin C can prevent an acute respiratory infection, there is evidence that it can shorten the length of time and or severity of some infections. Practice good hygiene. Wash your hands frequently, especially after you've been in a public place. Always sneeze into the arm of your shirt or in a tissue. Although this may not ease your own symptoms, it will prevent you from spreading infectious diseases. Avoid touching your face, especially your eyes and mouth, to prevent introducing germs into your system. Please check our other videos for more information on viruses specifically pandemics like Corona and Ebola viruses. Thank you.